Hey guys, welcome back to another video here at Rick Shaves. I hope you're all doing great out there. So let me go ahead and show you what I'm going to be doing today. It is, of course, a fall uh, inspired shave. I have the pumpkin pie from Phoenix here. Uh, this is a uh, great, it's a uh, 3.14, which is pie. You know, it's, it's funny play on words kind of thing. Definitely has that cinnamon, clovey, nutmeg kind of smell to it. You know, like pumpkin pie. Now, with that being said, if you are sensitive to those kinds of fragrances or, or spice type, you know, soaps, then this one might not be for you. That's okay. You know, it, it might not be for a lot of uh, people because of the scent itself. I love this kinds of scents. My wife actually really does love these uh, kinds of scents as well. So she loves when I use this stuff. But she is one of those like pumpkin spice fanatics. Like she could have, you know, pumpkin spice beef jerky and it'd probably be good to her. Well, it's gross, but, <laughs> you know. Also, the razor I'm going to be using today is the King Gillette. This is the one they came out with. Uh, a while back, you see it's the shorter handle razor. I also have the longer handle one as well. So I'll, future video, of course, so I'll be reviewing that. But it comes in this nice little case that came with like uh, some documentation. And uh, of course it has a little breakdown in there of you know where the parts go and the place for your razors. As you see, I use this as like a travel kind of uh, razor kit. <clears throat> now, I've used this before, obviously. I've, I've used it. I bought it a while back. Um, I was excited when Gillette was coming out with their very, uh, a, a new safety razor. Now, I have also have this one. This is the Edwin Jagger... Uh, DE86 I believe it's not the 89 it's the same thing it just has a different handle the heads are the same and the heads are the same on the Gillette so um, I'm guessing that they uh, got with Edwin Jagger whoever makes the heads for a Edwin Jagger and they went that route that's a little disappointing. Not that the that I don't like the Edwin Jagger head. I just wish they would have brought back a more classic one or, or went back to something like this. The Ball and Tech from Gillette. This is a vintage razor. Beautiful vintage razor. I wish they would have went with something like that because it is Gillette, but... Uh, again, this isn't going to be a, this isn't a bad razor, okay? That's just my personal preference. I'm not knocking the razor. It, it performs just fine. It's going to perform just fine. As a matter of fact, I'm, a, I'm going to test it out a little bit. And uh, just as a surprise bonus in this video, I'm going to shave off the old crumbs, crumb catcher here. Uh, yeah, I'm shaving off the mustache. Not because it... It doesn't look, you know, not because I don't want to keep it. It's just getting to the point where it's harder and harder to make this less noticeable. And it just doesn't look right. I don't like that ununiformed look on my mustache. I, I, For me, personally, if I can't grow it proper and right, this is just, again, how I feel about it. Uh, if I can't grow it proper and right, then I'm just not going to do it. I'm just going to shave it off, and maybe I'll grow it back later. I don't know. It's still up in the air. But, uh, okay, yes, yeah, so pumpkin pies, uh, pumpkin, pumpkin pies, pumpkin pie from Phoenix. The Gillette, I guess travel razor or something, or Gillette, King Gillette razor. The brush, I'm just gonna use my maggard razor with the cool purple handle. I love this razor, I love this brush, it's awesome. The aftershave, Atomic Pumpkin. Uh, this is, uh, I don't have 
an aftershave matching the pumpkin spice. This is an older uh, label, and and uh, I bought this a few years ago. Um, I do, but I don't believe he makes one for this. So this is the closest I got to it. Uh, this is an awesome, awesome scent. It's kind of like a, a bay rum pumpkin spice kind of scent. I love it. It's it just it's really good. Um, so yeah, guys, that's gonna be the shave. This is coming off, and uh, we'll see what's under there because I haven't seen in like probably almost a year. <laughs> Let's go ahead and wet the face. Enough talking. Get to shaving, right? We'll see how this goes. <laughs> see how terrible I look. Baby faced again. Okay. I think that's way enough. I already did my pre-shave routine, of course. Build a little lather. Oh, man. If you like pumpkin, that pumpkin spice scent, this is a great one. Don't need much. Again, if you're sensitive to these kinds of fragrances, this one, you might want to skip this one. I know there was a, I used one from, God, what was the company? Oh, Wet Shaving Products. They had a pumpkin spice one and it smelled fantastic. It smelled really good, but my skin reacted really bad to it every time I used it. I'm trying to work that, work that soap into my, there we go. That's better. Now it's I'm trying to work into my mustache without a. Uh... Oh yeah, look at that. Nice, creamy. Without uh, <laughs> getting it up my nose, I guess, right? Nice, creamy lather. Probably talk more about the razor here um, than anything else. Uh, again, I don't mind the uh, Edwin Jagger razor. I don't know who makes their heads for them, but um, yeah, that was a little disappointing to me. I kind of wish that they would have brought back one of their older designs. I wish they would do, I wish they would bring back another adjustable. That would be awesome. Um, I think it would sell really well. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Shaving really good. No issues. Again, the performance of the razor is good. A very mild shave. Not super aggressive at all. It'd be a great daily shaving razor. No, uh, no, no problems with that. Again, it was just the aesthetics part. I, do I, you know... I wish they would have brought back one of their original designs. Yes, I think that would have sold. 
very well. Again, um, I'm just glad that they did it. Ultimately, I'm, I'm very pleased with the razor. Uh, it shaves really good, as you can see. And we're gonna see how it, how it takes this uh, push broom bristle brush off my face here. <laughs> I have no doubt it'll, it'll uh, take it off just fine. Um, have a Astra Superior Platinum in there. Great shaving razor, that's my favorite blade. Again, if you're looking for a good blade, get a blade sampler pack. And you'll get different blades. You get uh, multiple of different companies that, you know, they package them and, uh, you know, you get to try them and see which one works good for you. Okay, I saved it for last because I was just like, geez, <laughs> am I really going to do it? Yeah, it's going. I've had this almost a year. I had a beard for most when I was, when I wasn't making videos. I had a beard at that time trying to grow in this, these areas here. It just did, really didn't work. It just wound up looking kind of scraggly and patchy. And so I shaved off the beard and I kept the mustache. And now, <laughs> all right, here it goes. <laughs> See, there was that problematic area. That's a little bald spot. The, the only thing that grew there was some white hairs. You know, for whatever reason. Well, there's half a stash. <laughs> wow. Jeez. I keep my mouth closed keep all that hair out that's actually quite a bit of hair Try to get that hair out of my mouth. There it is. Clean baby face me. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, it looks weird. It looks weird. All right. Pass number two. Oh. My lip feels cold. <laughs> wow.
So I'm thinking about starting a new segment. I've been thinking about this for a while. And it'll be like a, a shave and a talk. I'll show you what I'm going to be using for that day. But I'm not really going to be highlighting the products. It's going to be more just kind of talking uh, about different things. Mostly uh, talking about like mostly cultural things. I don't really get political or anything on, you know, but cultural issues I've been seeing, uh, you know, between men and women and dating and, and relationships and marriage and just kind of where we are. There you go. Just kind of where we are right now in our society and stuff like that. You know, so I'll probably do a head shave when I do because they're a little longer to do. And it uh, allows me to talk a little bit longer. I don't have to focus so much on the shave, but more just on what I'm talking about. So that might be something I play around with and... Do a few every once in a while. I don't want to change the real demographic of the of the uh, channel here, but I think some of those issues need to be mentioned since this is. I, I mean, let's face it, this is a man's channel. This is mostly men watch this channel uh, because I'm dealing with something that we do. My relative on a daily basis, you know, shave. And I review shave products. But I also want to talk to men about issues that they're facing in life and just kind of a general consensus of, of the issues that men go through in life and dealing with relationships and m marriage and things like that. Oh, there it is. It is gone for good now. Wow. Great shave though, uh, feels really good. It's like I got myself a little bit there. Again, that's a sensitive area for me, unfortunately. All right, let's rinse off. Shaved off the shaved off the porn stash, so <laughs> nice shave before work. Again, um, you can really see it here. I don't know if y'all can see that, but there's a bald spot there just like here and here. I just, uh, you know, it's kind of like the head thing. If I can't grow it, I might as well shave it. So, <laughs> but ultimately I got a great shave. That's no doubt with Phoenix products. I, I know when I use a Phoenix product, 
I'm going to have a top-notch shave when it comes to the soap and the aftershave and that. The razor did really good. If you like the Edwin Jagger style head of razors, that's what this Gillette that came out has. I'm pretty sure that um, this one here is the same thing uh, because it's probably massly produced and other razor companies probably use them as well. I don't own any others that are kind of similar to this that I know of. I'll have to look through the vast number that I own. But let's go ahead and throw some of this bad boy on here, the uh, Atomic Pumpkin. And uh, I'm gonna do my little pro trick here because this spout is just a little bit too big and it it doesn't control it as well as I would like it to. There's a little sting on the upper lip there. But that's to be expected. Woo! Oh, God, that's the sting is pretty good there. Here and here, that's where I'm really feeling it. So just be mindful of that, that it could cause some stinging because of the... It smells fantastic, though. It smells like I put a bunch of red hots on my face. That's kind of why it smelled like that. Like, have you ever smelled Fireball whiskey or red hot candies? That's kind of the... Kind of what I'm getting from it. It smells fantastic. And the, the stinging is subsiding. The burning sensation is subsiding. Um, but I knew it was going to burn here using this. This probably wasn't the best shave to do uh, when I'm shaving off my mustache. But that uh, that definitely... Uh, wow. It definitely, definitely uh, it isn't lasting long. And it wasn't like super unbearable. It, the very first initial point when it started burning, it, it got... Yeah, it was... It, it, it was letting me know it was there for sure. But, uh, I mean, within seconds, it started to kind of subside. So, and now it's it just feels really good. And smells really good. That's a really good scented, uh, really good scented soap. Let's go ahead and review. Phoenix Pumpkin Pie, Phoenix Arson Accoutrements. This is their... Crown King formula, I guess, or that was, this is a, again, this is an old label. This is an older uh, tub. I don't know if the formulas change. All I can tell you is that every new uh, every new um, product that Doug's put out when they upgrade the formula or or they start using some, has always worked for me okay I've, I've always enjoyed their products and i'm not again i'm not paid to say that or anything like that i just really enjoy their products the uh razor the gillette the king gillette this is kind of that short handled one um again uh edwin jagger style head uh, that's not a bad thing uh i just wish gillette would have gone back with uh a more traditional one from their past razors that they used to make. Um, again, I'm just happy that Gillette is putting something out there uh, again uh, like this. And I'll, I'll link it if I can find it. Uh, I bought it on Amazon. I think it was about $30 when I bought it, maybe $35, somewhere in there. So I don't know if it's gone up or what. Brush, the Maggard Razors. I'll go ahead and post their uh, company in there. I don't know if they have that particular brush, but you can find something probably uh, around the same. And uh, Atomic Pumpkin, I do believe he still has this one. 
Again, this is a gr this is great for like uh, this soap that didn't really have an aftershave with it, or at the time it didn't. I don't know. I haven't really bought a whole lot of new soaps because I have so many, and I need to try and review and get through the ones I have uh, for y'all. Uh, I've bought a, a few, and I just bought another one from West Coast Shaving, which I'll show you. Maybe I'll do an unboxing video and show you that one. Um, because uh, it looks really interesting and I've never, I never even heard of this product, but I saw uh, on West Coast Shavings channel the other day that they highlighted it. So I was like, well, let me, let me try it out, you know, and it's roughly about the same amount as buying from, you know, Phoenix or, or Sterling or something like that. So, uh, all right, guys, well, that I believe is going to do it for me. I uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, video. And if you did, go ahead and hit that like button and uh, consider subscribing to the channel. And hey, we'll see you in the next one. Take care.